Joey Gallo, since being traded to the Yankees, his offensive production has really cooled off. You can look at his mechanics. Is there really anything different than what he was doing before he got traded? Is there something drastically wrong with his swing mechanics? No. If Joey Gallo's swing mechanics are almost perfect, then why is he still missing the ball? It has to be something else. When you're a true researcher and you're trying to get to the bottom of what's really making the outcome work, and then you realize, well, I have perfect mechanics, but I'm still not getting the results that I want. Then you have to come to the realization that it's not the perfect mechanics that are creating the result that we're trying to achieve. And Drell told Simmons, you saw Makata hitting similar pitches for base hits to right field. But Simmons, why does he have this awkward swing? Here's my theory and this is what I've tested. Simmons picks up the ball late in the flight path. Simmons' brain isn't working as isn't working faster than the ball is moving. It takes Simmons a longer time to read the speed the pitch is moving at and the space the ball is moving into. Josh Donaldson, we know he's a good hitter. He buckles on this pitch. Why does he buckle? Because it took him a longer time to interpret the speed the pitch is moving at and the space the ball is moving into. The faster you can interpret and calibrate this information, the better hitter you are. And like so many good hitters, it fades in and it fades out. Yankees hitter, inside fastball. He rapidly reads the ball's speed and the space it's moving into. Hitting is an eye-to-hand coordination. The eyes, the brain, have got to work faster than the ball is moving. And that's exactly what this hitter demonstrated. He's happy and he's celebrating in the dugout with his teammates. I want to inspire you to look past the obvious of swing mechanics and look at what's really responsible for a good hitting and it's the eyes and the brain and to be able to process information rapidly. On all my promotional videos, I freeze teachable moments on the video to show the audience this is what you want to look for. This is what it looks like when the batter's brain and eyes are moving as fast as the ball is moving. There is a delay in processing information. 80 miles an hour to 92 miles an hour. An innovative concept I help hitters to achieve is to get their brains to move like liquid. They can quickly adjust to slow pitches. They can quickly adjust to fast pitches. And here's a great example of a hitter using a liquid-like brain. Jorge Polanco. The pitch is a changeup. He's not trying to do too much. Watch the game highlights. Night in and night out, you'll see players who don't swing hard at home plate. The players who have the abilities to do this process the information faster than other hitters who don't. They have more neuroplasticity. Jay Cave, look how fast he processes this information. Look at his face, look at his eyes. He knows the speed, he knows the space the ball's moving into. The better I see the ball, the more body I will put into the ball. The eyes are a tunnel to the brain. Watch Max Kepler's eyes. His eyes are moving a hundredth of a second faster than the ball is moving. This is what we teach in our hitting sessions. We teach players to process the ball faster and learn the technique and the concepts and the patterns that help you to be a hundredth of a second faster than real time. Tyler Wade, trying to hit a curveball. What's wrong with his mechanics? Why does he miss this pitch? Does he open up too soon? Does he collapse his backside? Does he fly open? What's wrong with his mechanics? They're not too shabby. How about this? His brain was too slow. 
It took too long for the eyes to get the message to the brain. Asked Luke Boyd about this pitch. Was his mechanics off? Nah. He was fooled by the off-speed pitches. Why was he fooled? It took him too long to process the information. Anthony Rizzo has to adjust to a 69 mile an hour curveball to a 90 mile an hour fastball. And the 90 mile an hour fastball, it looks like it's gonna be blown by him. Learning how to transition the eyes from watching the pitcher now to watching the ball is a real technique, it's a pattern. Max Kepler, here's your answer. Why doesn't Max Kepler hit lefties as well as he hits the righties? Watch his eyes. There's a delay. This is what is called being ambushed by the ball. Max, your eyes are late. A deeper view inside this folder that we call timing the vision is dangling the idea of the transition of depth perception. Elite hitters are not seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand. They're doing something else. Polanco, same pitch that Kepler just saw. I know it's a lefty pitcher to righty batter matchup, but Polanco just processed the ball faster and more accurate than Kepler did. But here's what you research. Why? What was his technique? Was it mechanics? No, it wasn't mechanics. See, hitting is an eye-to-hand coordination. There, if there's any mechanics involved, it's the mechanics of the eyes. And how you transition from watching a pitcher to watching the ball. How you understand how to convert from one depth to the next depth. I learned a technique using the pitcher's common denominator. And I taught my son how to time his eyes using the pitcher's common denominator. Josh Donaldson, very good hitter. Some people call it pitch recognition. But let's unfold pitch recognition. Pitch recognition is rapidly determining what rate of speed is the ball moving at and quickly deciding what space is the ball going to be in when I try to strike it. From the audience's point of view, why would you go after a pitch like this? From the player's point of view, yeah, you have to because at first glance, that ball's on a plane that's looking like a fastball on the outside corner. And all of a sudden, boom, it dips and dives. Joey Gallo getting blown away by a 90 mile an hour fastball. For all the coaches out there that study swim mechanics, what's wrong with the swim mechanics? Not too much. Why is he missing the ball? Not processing fast enough. Miguel Sano, very nice man. He has always been kind to my son, Alex. The pitchers are always adding and subtracting. This is 81 miles an hour on the outside corner. The pitching coaches know it, and so do the pitchers. Mess up the batter's timing, mess up the batter's space. That's the pitcher's weapons. As a batter, if I master hitting timing, which is really mastering the timing of your vision, and you master the spaces the ball is, is passing through, you now take away the weapons from the pitcher. Redemption. Here's your home run, Miguel Sano. 86 miles an hour, down the middle, doesn't matter, your brain still has to adapt to it. It bothers me to no end. Well, he hung it there for him. Guess what? The hitter still has to process that pitch. Has to process the speed and the space rapidly. There's no guarantees. It's just going to land on the bat. Brandon Nemo. Here you go. Nice swing mechanics. Why doesn't he hit the ball? Almost the same pitch twice in a row. The second pitch a bit more outside. And it takes him a while to process the speed and space. If your son is ready to learn these innovative hitting techniques, then let's work face-to-face -face directly. Check out my website, languageofhitting.com. Send me an email message. Give me a phone call. I look forward to hearing from you.